Here's how I made this 40 pound horse bow from Schedule 40 pipe. PVC is a fun and affordable choice for anyone who wants to make a bow. The right kind of pipe is very hard to break. I'm starting with 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC, the standard issue stuff. I cut this pipe to 48 inches and then marked the center and 2 inches on either side. Then I marked 6 inches from the ends. It takes about 5 minutes to plasticize the limbs with a typical heat gun, but if you use an aluminum foil trough, you can cut that time in half. Here's a very simple way to make a tapering jig. This isn't the best way, but it's easy. I set these screws to a height of 3 quarters of an inch, the same as our pipe. When you heat your pipe, you need to keep the heat gun moving at all times. If you let it sit, your bow might scorch and break in that spot. Don't ever let the pipe turn brown or darken. If you don't have a heat gun, you could use a stove or an open flame if you're very careful. I'll be using clamps to hold down the jig, but if you're fairly strong or heavy, you can just sit on it or force it down. Release the clamps before the bow cools all the way. That way you can make some manual adjustments. Make sure the tips are in alignment with the handle and nothing looks uneven. We want the tips of our horse bow to be thin and rigid, so we'll flatten them perpendicular to the limbs. Once the pipe reaches a high enough temperature, it'll remember its round shape. I flattened with a padded vise, but you can do this by hand with some gloves. Heat up the tips again to close the gap on the belly side. You can reflex the tips at this point, around 3 or 4 inches. This bow started as a 48 inch pipe and draws over 40 pounds at 28 inches. For a lower poundage bow, start with a longer piece of PVC. For a heavier bow, I'd recommend using thicker pipe, one or one and a quarter inches. To give the bow some extra stability, I heated and deflexed the limb slightly, sacrificing some potential speed, but making the bow more stable, durable, and forgiving to shoot. I can't say I'll ever abandon making wood bows for PVC. This project was a lot more fun than I expected. It's hard to make a wooden bow that shoots this fast in just a couple hours. I'll definitely be making more PVC bows again on this channel. For frequent bow builds and content exploring all the fun styles of archery, make sure to hit subscribe. Next time I make a PVC bow, should I make Legolas's bow, Lynx, or Cadmus Everdeen's? I'll make any superhero video game, movie, or history-inspired bow that you'd like to see. Let me know, and I'll make a how-to video for the type of bow in the top comment.